Hello everybody, this is Solar Tiger with another solar power video. Today is Friday the 5th of April 2024 and this video is going to be about another battery that I bought. Now as I always say in my videos, I spend a lot of time on eBay looking through the listings for interesting items and bargains and stuff like that and one day I was looking on eBay and I came across this battery pack thing and I thought this could be useful so I watched the item and I put in a bid and I won the item and this is it so I will show you uh, some things about it I did some research on the internet and I'll tell you what I found so this is the item it's the capacity dot lie DC 122500 Pro 12 volt high capacity LIFE EO4 battery and it says it's 12.8 volts at the capacity of 25 amp hours and then it says underneath input is 14.6 volts output DC 14.6 volts to 10.8 volts and then there's a temperature of minus 20 degrees centigrade to plus deg 60 degrees centigrade uh, there's some warnings on it do not short the battery pack please read the product parameters carefully do not exceed the product parameters during use uh, do not use in an env environment above 60 degrees celsius and then it says it's manufactured by Dongguan Qiang Energy Technology Company Limited made in China I probably pronounced that horribly wrong as my Chinese isn't very good but that's that made in China well that's predictable so it comes in this plastic case which is fairly solid so I'll come back to that later there's four screws holding it together uh, on the top I'm going to turn it around this way so on the top there are two binding posts minus and plus there's a charging jack a meter and an on off switch on the top and on this side this one has the optional uh, cigarette lighter socket so on the top here is a display if I press the on off switch you can see there's a voltage display and a battery bar graph and there's two USB ports so you could charge your phone or whatever device or use any USB devices so I could charge my phone or my iPad or my headphones or whatever else I would want to plug in just for example I have this USB light that plugs in here and as you can see it's working you can see the reflection there it's just the uh, only USB thing I had to hand so that's that <laughs> so that could be useful so it has a voltage readout and bar graph on the top so 
uh, the on off switch only affects the, the meter and the USB port the binding posts and the cigarette lighter socket are on all the time they're connected directly to the battery so that's that so the battery weighs approximately uh, 2.7 kilos from my research I haven't actually weighed it it's quite weighty but not too heavy that's all I'm going to say about that so I thought this would be useful I could run some USB lights I could use my USB soldering iron uh, I can charge things with it so I thought that would be handy and with the cigarette lighter socket I could plug in a USB adapter or my LED lights or whatever I just have a test light here to just to show it's working so this is a cigarette lighter plug with a, L, a white LED in it and a resistor and I use this mainly for testing sockets to make sure things are working and you can see it's working now so that's that you could plug in all different 12 volt things uh, this device could be useful if you went uh, on a camping trip say or yeah, for a backup in your house if there's a power cut or a storm or something like that we, you know, we do get those kind of things in the UK as well so could be useful for that so that's this uh, if anybody wants to know I bought this off of eBay uh, and it costs me the whopping t sum of seven UK pounds that's right I paid seven UK pounds for this and I paid three pounds something for delivery so about ten pounds delivered so I thought that was a good bargain so that's what I'm going to say with this uh, I will come into some other things in a moment. Uh, if I come to the computer. Now I tried to find out stuff about this. And I found conflicting information. And I think there are different variations of this thing as well. So here's a similar item that has the same model number. DC1225 Pro uh, this is made under a different brand name it says QM Repow looks virtually identical so I guess these are generic things that come out of a Chinese factory uh, it does say here that it's currently unavailable so I don't know if this is a current thing or not uh, now I will show you some things here now in the title it says it's life vpo4 rechargeable battery pack with charger or outdoor camping power supply fish finder solar system so it's a rechargeable battery pack that you can use for going camping or on a fishing trip or going down the park or somewhere like that so it says the battery is lithium ion there and in the picture however it says the input is 14.6 volts and that's a giveaway that is a lifey lithium ion phosphate battery so mine actually says lithium iron phosphate on it so that's that 
So it says here on the computer, uh, charging time is about three to five hours with the included charger. Uh, it can do in excess of a thousand cycles. Uh, it has a BMS protection board. Well, all like lithium ion phosphate batteries do. The BMS uh, has overcharge, over discharge, overload, short circuit protection. Uh, it says it's lightweight and durable. It's about 2.7 kilos, so mm, it's a reasonable weight, but not really heavy. Uh, it says you can use it to power all different things. Uh, I come to to some of the pictures here. Uh, there's some dimensions of it. I think it's a fairly standard type of thing. Uh, basically, with different stickers on and etc. Usual type of Chinese things. Sort of generic design with different labels on. Uh, so on the top we got the binding post, the charging port, the display with USBs on it and a on off switch that lights up as I showed you before. Uh, yep, says that. Claims to have BMS with eight protections in it. And then we come to the cells. Now it's showing prismatic cells here and I will tell you that I had a peek inside of this and I'll show you some pictures on the iPad but mine definitely did not have those cells in uh, mine are definitely a different shape so we'll discuss that in a moment uh, right, so what does it say here? It says model 12 volt, 25 amp hours. Input voltage is 14.6 volts. Output voltage 10 volts to 14.6 volts. So the BMS cuts out about 10 volts. Uh, it's claimed to have a 25 amp hour capacity. It weighs. 2.75 kilos uh, claims that it can do 25 amps continuously then it gives a battery type uh, mine has a different battery in it uh, charging temperature 0 to 45 degrees and discharge temperature between minus 20 to plus 60 Basically, you cannot charge lithium iron phosphate batteries below zero degrees centigrade. It will damage them. Uh, it comes with a charger. Mine's slightly different. Mine's 14.6 volt, uh, 5 amps. Uh, it says when using the charger, you have to turn the on off switch to on. That's this switch here. You have to turn it on when you're using the charging jack. And the charger has an indicator light that goes, changes from red when charging to green when it's done. So that's that. Uh, I tried to find a price for this and when I went through Google uh, I found a price about about 150 euros uh, what I found so whatever that is in pounds or dollars or whatever that's what it costs it cost me seven UK pounds and that's I thought that was cheap so that's that okay uh, it came with a charger uh, 
that's this thing here. I apologize for the creaking chair that I'm sitting on. So this is the charger that has uh, this plug on it. Uh, I'm in the UK and we use the ubiquitous three pin plug. Uh, this is a recycled plug. It was used for something else previously. Anyway, so I went to change the plug. I went to change from this plug, mainly because this plug doesn't have a fuse in it. So I went it, wanted to fit a, a fuse three pin plug. So I started by cutting off the plug and stripping back the, the cable and then I found this. Let me hold the camera a little bit differently. I found this. The mains lead has uh, two black wires in it. Uh, I've never seen a mains lead with two black wires in it. Uh, we are here in the UK and our mains wiring is as follows. The live or hot is brown. The neutral is blue. And if it had a ground or earth cable, that would be yellow and green. However, this mains lead just has two black wires in it. And top of that, they are awfully, the camera won't focus on it very well, but they are also very, very thin. So I wasn't keen on that. And at that point, I decided not to bother fitting the plug because I'm not over the moon with the sort of safety credentials of this thing. I've never seen this in a mains cable before. This is the charger. There's power charger. It has an indicator light to the left of the wording. So that would be red when charging, green when charged. On the back, it says lithium ion battery charger. Obviously, this is actually for a lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, it outputs 14.6 volts at 5 amps, and it can run from 100 to 240 volts AC. Uh, this ch charger uh, has no CE marking on it. It's not UL tested. So the safety credentials are not guaranteed with this. So I'm not going to actually use this, I don't think. This is the jack that goes into the charging port. So I would either try and find another battery charger, like buy one maybe, or I'm thinking to charge this with uh, solar, with solar panels. with solar panels and a solar charge controller that can charge lithium iron phosphate batteries. So I'll probably end up buying a Victron charge controller. I like Victron charge controllers because they're very customizable. You can adjust all the settings. They're reliable. Uh, if you buy them from a store, they come with a five-year guarantee. I have loads. I have several other Victron controllers, and they work great. So I'll probably charge this with solar, or I may try and get hold of a better quality battery charger to charge this. 
so that's about the charger uh, I have I watched one video on YouTube where somebody reviewed this or something similar to this and they said it worked very well they tested the capacity of it and it met the capacity printed on it so that was that the only thing they mentioned was uh, their one came with a different charger a bright orange colored charger and the guy who tested it was into ham radio and he said that the charger produced a lot of RF noise it was made loads of interference so I don't know if this charger is the same but it doesn't have any sort of safety ratings and no CE mark on it and no UL rating on it so I don't know about this charger So, and usually, if anything comes with this kind of plug and no fuse in it, it's of dubious quality and safety rating. So, I'd rather use a charger that came with a proper UK 3 pin plug with a fuse in it. So, I'll probably try and source a different one. Right, to the internals of this. It's easy to take apart, there are just four screws, and then you have to tease it apart because the inside is uh, held together with hot glue and sticky foam pads. Because I've opened it to look inside. So, with that in mind, I'll take you over to the iPad. Actually, I can stand the iPad. I can lean it on the battery. So, apologise for my reflection in the iPad. Right, so here's what's inside. I did this upstairs, but never mind. So inside, you can see I get to the, that this battery is not the same as this battery. So even though it has the same model number on the outside, mine has different cells in different cells inside. So mine are definitely not prismatic, as you can see here. So mine has uh, cylindrical cells in it, uh, in a configuration there are three cells high. by four cells wide so I would say that this is a 4S 3P pack 4S is for the voltage so 4 times 3.2 volts gives you the 12.8 volts and it's 3P that supposedly gives you the 25 amp outs. Though 25 divided by 3 uh, doesn't come out to a whole number. So to get to the 25 amp hours, these cells would need to be 8 and a bit amp hours each. And looking at these cells I've come to the conclusion that they are 32700 I believe just by looking at them and if I looked at 32700 uh, cells on the computer uh, the average rating for those cells is about 6 amp hours the average rating so 
three six suits would only make 18 amp hours so that's something about the capacity I'm not sure what cells they are using exactly in this so but if we say that they had six amp hours of capacity then this would have uh, 18 amp hours of total capacity and even at 18 amp hours I'd be happy because I paid only seven pounds for it so that's short of the 25 amp hours it says on it but I can't find any real proof of what cells are actually in here so that's that uh, trying to find any real specs on this is very difficult because they make similar versions of this with lithium ion cells in it and these different models are mixed together on the same pages on websites and trying to find out any real information is difficult <coughs> sorry about that so inside uh, here's the wiring this is the main positive wire and the main negative wire this cable had 10 gauge written on it so that's that and the other wiring had 18 gauge written on it um, it has a cigarette lighter socket on the side which I think is rated for 10 amps and the cigarette lighter and the binding posts are connected directly across the battery uh, I did not see any fuses in this so that's one thing uh, let's see what else yeah this is a close up of the wiring you can clearly says it says 18 gauge there that's how it's wired uh, as I said there's no fuse for the cigarette lighter outlet there's no fuse for the display and the USB ports I could see <coughs> and the charging jack is connected directly across the binding posts because there are only two wires going to the actual battery pack so everything's connected across the battery pack uh, the BMS board is integrated into the battery pack I couldn't see it and I wasn't going to unwrap the battery pack I'm not going to tear it down so that's how that is so that's the internals of it uh, so I did peek inside this is what's inside and I didn't fancy unwrapping it so that's what we got mine has cylindrical cells in it that I think are 32700s so that's what's inside uh, and that's that so this is a review of this battery pack uh, I've tested it out and it works so I'm happy with it for the price I paid just seven pounds I saw this battery the casing is plastic though I will say that I took it apart and when I screwed it back together I did manage to put a small crack in the battery pack that's next to the screw ho screw hole so I don't know if that was there before or if that was me 
So this is Solar Tiger with a new battery pack I bought. So if you think this is interesting, and if you think it was a good buy for seven pounds, then please leave a comment down below and click like. And I wish to thank you for watching. And I'll see you again in the next video. So this is Solar Tiger saying goodbye and thank you for watching. Thank you.